Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up this Keycoon Wi-Fi IP camera model number KK002. First of all let's take a look and see what's inside the box. Uh, this camera itself in piano black, um, the Wi-Fi antenna is at the back, the, the bottom there are four uh, grippy pads. Also come with uh, brackets for you to mount the camera uh, on walls and shelves should you want to, wall plugs and screws. A, a quick start guide, a CD which helps you set up a software so you can use um, uh, a web browser on your PC uh, to connect to the camera, an Ethernet cable and what is not on show on show here is the uh, power adapter as well because I've got it plugged in uh, getting ready to um, show you how to set it up. Okay so first of all uh, what we need to do is to plug in uh, the Ethernet cable and the power adapter at the back of the camera. So power adapter and the Ethernet cable. The other end is connected to my uh, router already or router already already. Okay, while that being the while that's booting up, we can set up the phone. I like to use my phone because it means I can access the camera when I'm out and about. So the app that we need to download is called. Uh, a P2P live cam. Either you can search that on your app store uh, from your app store, um, or you can use the, uh, a QR scanner app to scan the QR codes that are provided. The one on the left is for Apple App Store. The one on the right is for Google Play Store. If you don't have a QR scanner app, you can download it for, uh, for, uh, one for for free from the App Store. There are quite a few to choose from. So turn on the camera. Scan the QR code. Great, the app comes up. I've got it downloaded, so open it. Okay, so to add the camera onto the app, add button, choose search LAN, because it's connected to uh, my router already. Choose the camera. The preset uh, password is 8888. You can change that later. Great, it's connected. So uh, in fact, it's now prompting you to change the password for security uh, reasons. So you can do that later. I can, I'm going to skip for now. Great, so it's connected. Now you're seeing uh, what the camera is seeing. Okay, so uh, before we um, go and have a look and see what features and functions we have, uh, I'm going to carry on uh, setting the uh, camera up uh, wirelessly. So the next thing you need to do is to go into configuration. Uh, to do that, you can either press the cog or press and hold the camera. Go into advanced config. Go into Wi-Fi config. It will search for the routers or routers. Look for the one uh, uh, that you have and enter the password. I've got mine set up already previously. So now what we can do is to unplug the Ethernet cable. it would automatically change from a wired mode to wireless mode. That sound means that it's uh, done successfully. So what I'll do is I'll reset the apps, go back in, disconnecting, takes a moment or two to uh, re-establish the connection. Great, done. Now we are looking through the camera again without um, the Ethernet cable. Now you can unplug the camera and put it um, in, a, in a separate, a different location. Um, to control the camera, you can either uh, use these two buttons here to move the camera left, right, up, down, or uh, what I prefer doing is to actually use the screen itself. So, show you. This is how you move the camera left and right, and up and down. Very simple. Okay, next um, other controls you have are the uh, brightness, contrast. This is the nighttime mode. That's the daytime mode. Nighttime mode is black and white, daytime mode is uh, in color. On the right, you can choose the uh, video quality uh, HD 720p and um, 
uh, choose the one obviously suitable to um, your internet connection. I choose normal. Okay, the bottom here that the on the left, uh, these two are uh, the first one, the audio coming in to the camera. Second one is audio being broadcast uh, through the, the camera, so you can speak to the people in the room. The third one along is to take a snapshot. Fourth one is uh, the video recording. Start it now. Wave. Stop recording. I'll show you where they're saved uh, in a moment. Um, the next two, uh, that's the movement buttons. Uh, on the far right, that's the uh, one to flip the image left and right and up and down. I rarely use those once it's set up. Great. Okay. Let's go back to the main menu. At the bottom here, the two more sections, snapshot and record. Snapshot, that's the picture that we took earlier. Record, that's the video that I took earlier. Excellent. Just one thing I want to mention, if you had the... Um, oh, sorry. If you had the speaker on, what you're recording will be with sound. If you don't, like it is now, that means the video the recording uh, will be just picture, a picture only, with no sound. So there you have it. That's how you set up your um, Kikun uh, Wi-Fi IP camera. Um, I've had it for a couple of weeks. Uh, I really like it. Uh, the camera's quality is really, really good. Um, what I like about it the most is that now I have access to my camera when I'm out and about, just uh, via an app on my phone. Um, the camera itself can be moved in all different angles, anywhere pretty much um, uh, left and right you can see, and front and back as well, so it's really, really versatile. Um, so that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, please drop me a comment. Um, otherwise, um, thank you for watching.